Imagine you're sitting in your room right now watching this video. You feel completely still, right? But here's the mind-blowing truth. You're actually hurtling through space at over 1,000 miles per hour. That's right. Earth's rotation is carrying you at speeds faster than a commercial jet, and you don't even feel it. But what would happen if our planet suddenly just stopped? If Earth's 4.6 billion year rotation came to an abrupt halt in an instant, the consequences would be so catastrophic, so unimaginable, that it would literally reshape our entire world in ways that would make the most intense disaster movies look like children's cartoons. Today, we're diving deep into this terrifying scenario to explore the physics, the chaos, and the ultimate fate of everything we know and love. Before we unleash this cosmic catastrophe, let's understand what we're dealing with. Earth rotates once every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds, what scientists call a sidereal day. At the equator, our planet's surface moves at approximately 1,040 miles per hour, or 1,670 kilometers per hour. Now here's where physics gets interesting. Everything on Earth, every building, every tree, every drop of water in the ocean, every breath of air in our atmosphere, and yes, every human being, is moving at this incredible speed due to what we call rotational inertia. We don't feel this motion because everything around us is moving at the same speed. Think about it like this. When you're in a car traveling at 60 miles per hour on a smooth highway, you don't feel like you're moving. But what happens when that car suddenly hits a brick wall? The car stops, but your body keeps moving forward at 60 miles per hour until something stops you, usually the seatbelt or, tragically, the windshield. Now imagine that same principle. But instead of 60 miles per hour, we're talking about over 1,000 miles per hour. And instead of just you in a car, it's literally everything on the surface of our entire planet. The moment Earth stops spinning, the laws of physics would unleash absolute hell. Everything not firmly anchored to the bedrock would continue moving eastward at over 1,000 miles per hour. This includes all of our atmosphere, all of our oceans, every building, every car, every person, and every living thing on the surface. Let's start with the atmosphere. The entire blanket of air surrounding our planet would become a supersonic wind, moving at speeds that would make the strongest hurricane look like a gentle breeze. We're talking about wind speeds of over 1,000 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. These hypersonic winds would level every structure ever built by humanity skyscrapers, houses, bridges, mountains. Nothing would survive this atmospheric tsunami, but the atmosphere would be just the beginning. Our oceans, containing over 1.3 billion cubic kilometers of water, would also continue their eastward journey. Imagine tsunami waves thousands of feet high, moving at aircraft speeds, sweeping across continents. These wouldn't be ordinary tsunamis, they would be oceanic relocations. The Pacific Ocean would crash into Asia with such force that it would literally reshape the continents. And humans? Any person standing on the surface at the moment of stopping would be instantly accelerated to over 1,000 miles per hour. The human body simply cannot survive such acceleration. We would be thrown eastward with such force that survival would be impossible for anyone not deep underground or in specially designed bunkers. But wait, it gets worse much worse. The sudden stop wouldn't just affect the surface, it would trigger geological catastrophes beyond imagination. Earth's rotation creates something called the equatorial bulge. Our planet isn't perfectly round. It's slightly flattened at the poles and bulged at the equator due to centrifugal force. The equatorial diameter is about 27 miles larger than the polar diameter. When rotation stops, this bulge would begin to collapse. This collapse would trigger earthquakes, unlike anything in recorded history. We're not talking about magnitude 9 earthquakes. We're talking about magnitude 15 or higher earthquakes. So powerful that they would crack continents and shift tectonic plates hundreds of miles in minutes. Volcanic activity would explode across the planet. The sudden redistribution of mass 
and the incredible stresses placed on Earth's crust would cause volcanic eruptions on every continent simultaneously. The ring of fire around the Pacific would become a literal ring of fire, with supervolcanoes like Yellowstone erupting with force that would dwarf any eruption in human history. The very shape of our continents would change. Mountain ranges would crumble, new mountains would be thrust up from the earth, and the familiar geography we've known for thousands of years would be completely rewritten in a matter of hours. Now, let's talk about what happens to our atmosphere after the initial catastrophe. Without Earth's rotation, we lose something absolutely critical, the Coriolis effect. This effect is what creates our weather patterns, our jet streams, and our ocean currents. The Coriolis effect is responsible for the rotation of hurricanes, the direction of trade winds, and the circulation patterns that distribute heat around our planet. Without rotation, these systems would collapse entirely. We'd lose the jet streams that help regulate global weather patterns, and the delicate balance that keeps our climate relatively stable would be shattered. But here's something even more terrifying. Without rotation, our planet would eventually become tidally locked to the sun, just like the moon is to Earth. This means one side of the planet would face the sun permanently, while the other side would be in eternal darkness. The sun-facing side would become a hellish landscape with temperatures exceeding 800 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Meanwhile, the dark side would plunge into perpetual winter with temperatures dropping to hundreds of degrees below zero. The only potentially habitable zone would be a narrow ring around the planet where the sun appears permanently on the horizon. Without the mixing action of rotation, air circulation would be drastically different. Hot air from the sun side would rise and flow toward the dark side where it would cool and sink creating massive, slow-moving convection cells. This would result in permanent, howling winds between the hot and cold sides of the planet. Here's something most people don't realize. Earth's rotation is directly connected to our magnetic field. Our planet's magnetic field is generated by the rotation of molten iron in Earth's outer core. This process, called the geodynamo effect, creates the invisible shield that protects us from deadly solar radiation and cosmic rays. If Earth stops spinning, this geodynamo effect would weaken dramatically and eventually disappear entirely. The collapse of our magnetic field would have catastrophic consequences for any remaining life on the planet. Without our magnetic shield, solar wind, streams of charged particles from the sun, would directly impact our atmosphere. Over time, this would strip away our atmospheric gases, just like what happened to Mars billions of years ago. Mars once had a thick atmosphere and possibly liquid water on its surface, but when its magnetic field disappeared, the solar wind gradually stripped away its atmosphere, leaving behind the thin, cold atmosphere we see today. For any survivors of the initial catastrophe, the loss of our magnetic field would mean exposure to lethal levels of radiation. Solar flares and cosmic rays that are normally deflected by our magnetosphere would penetrate directly to the surface, making the planet uninhabitable for complex life forms. The beautiful Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis that dance around our poles would disappear forever as these light shows are created by charged particles from the sun interacting with our magnetic field. Now let's talk about our relationship with the moon, because this would change dramatically too. Currently, Earth and the moon are in a delicate gravitational dance. Earth's rotation is gradually slowing down due to tidal friction caused by the moon's gravitational pull, and in return, the moon is slowly moving away from us at about 1.5 inches per year. If Earth suddenly stops rotating, this relationship would be completely disrupted. The tidal forces that currently create our ocean tides would still exist, but without rotation, these forces would behave very differently. Instead of the regular rise and fall of tides we're familiar with, we'd have a permanent tidal bulge facing the moon. This would create a situation where the moon-facing side of the planet would have permanently higher sea levels, while the opposite side would have permanently lower sea levels. 
But remember, we're also dealing with the scenario where Earth becomes tidally locked to the Sun. This creates a complex interaction between solar and lunar tidal forces that would create chaotic and unpredictable water movements across the planet's surface. The Moon itself would also be affected. Without Earth's rotation to maintain our current orbital relationship, the Moon's orbit would become unstable. Over long periods, this could lead to the Moon either crashing into Earth or being flung out into space, depending on the complex gravitational dynamics at play. So, the big question, could anything survive this cosmic catastrophe? The answer is both sobering and fascinating. On the surface, the immediate answer is no. The initial shockwave of hypersonic winds, mega-tsunamis, and continent-crushing earthquakes would eliminate virtually all surface life within hours. However, life has an incredible ability to persist in the most extreme conditions. Deep underground ecosystems, particularly those around geothermal vents and in deep cave systems, might have a chance. These environments are already isolated from surface conditions and rely on geothermal energy rather than sunlight. Some bacteria and extremophile organisms could potentially survive the initial chaos. In the oceans, deep-sea communities around hydrothermal vents might also survive, as they're already adapted to extreme conditions and don't depend on surface processes for energy. But survival would mean adapting to a completely alien world. A planet with no day-night cycle, extreme temperature differences between hemispheres, no magnetic field protection, and an atmosphere in constant turmoil. The scenario we've explored today shows us just how perfectly balanced and precious our rotating planet really is. Earth's 24-hour rotation isn't just a convenient way to measure days. It's fundamental to everything that makes our world habitable. From the weather patterns that distribute heat around the globe, to the magnetic field that protects us from radiation, to the gentle tides that may have helped life emerge from the oceans billions of years ago. All of this depends on our planet's steady spin through space. So the next time you're feeling still and stationary, remember, you're actually on an incredible cosmic ride, spinning through space at over 1,000 miles per hour on a perfectly balanced planet that's been rotating for over 4 billion years. What other cosmic catastrophes would you like us to explore? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-bending space scenarios that'll make you appreciate just how amazing our universe really is.